Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about danger, mineral wool number two. Now mineral wool is this building insulation type material that has an R value placed inside the walls to control climate. It never was designed as an acoustical tool. Its usage has been perverted. Got an email the other day that is really representative of the 300 and what do I have? 16 emails in the last 15 years. So I thought I would put this one up for you to read and we're going to read it together in this video. So this is a good sample of what the, all of these emails say. There's a commonality here and, and I want you to see that commonality. So let's take 60 seconds and then we're going to go over it at the end. So take the next 60 seconds and read through this. Okay, so what do we see in this email? And these are some common things we see in all of them. Breathing in the room was unpleasant. The person noticed a change, okay? And, you know, what was this change? Well, we, we have symptoms, fatigue, chronic migraines. This is common throughout all of the 360 emails I have. So I'm pointing out the highlights. Look, look at the quote. The protective layer, which is, I inserted here, fabric, because that's what you put over absorption panels that you put in your room because they work with airflow, molecular velocity, air moving through the fabric, touching the building insulation, okay? That's how it works. So, is even slightly breathable. Well, if things go through the fabric, they come out the fabric too, right? because they're are small and light and float in the air. Now, this is an actual quote out of the email, okay? So once again, where where's the benefit here? You have poor acoustical performance, the wrong rate and level of absorption for music and voice. You have health issues highlighted here and a sample representative of 316 emails that I have received in 15 years, okay? Well, Dennis, you're not a doctor. Okay. But look at the, is this all coincidental? No. Okay. It's probably statistically significant, but I don't have that kind of data to support it. But just look at what they're going through. Poor acoustical formers. I think cost is the only variable people consider here. And they think sound absorption technology is sound absorption technology. No, it's different across the board. It's different for lows, it's different for mids, and it's different for highs. And people aren't understanding it. This is where the industry has simplified treatment to the point that there's no understanding of application. And that's the problem. You could have 12 inches, 16, 18, 24. I don't care how deep this is. You'll get a rate or you'll get a level of absorption. Goes down to a certain frequency, but you'll never get much of it. I always tell people my sister can build a box that goes to 40 hertz. The key is how much you get per square foot. That's rate of absorption. Must go low and get a lot. That's what you got to do because our rooms are small. We can't give up much space, but we have to treat the low end. So we want a, an absorption technology that's got a lot of horsepower, got a lot of power, right? It's like cutting off your hand and putting on a Band-Aid to stop the bleeding. It's, it's an exercise in futility. This material type cannot, by definition, absorb low frequency. I don't care how you package it. You can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Danger, mineral number two. 
I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.